You know, Johnny is a passionate fighter. That's he the is. best way I'm going to describe it. He all is these a very. Guys from Ecuador. All the guys They're from Ecuador are very, there. very <laughs> passionate, yeah. And it was a uh, bit of a heated match. And I think that Johnny would love to get this one back because Marcio won that one. But here we go. Marcio Andre in the black. Johnny Tammer in the blue. Immediately looking to get in on those legs is Johnny Tammer. But you know. When it comes to that kind of game, that leg fighting game, Marcio Andre is one of the best in the world at that. 100%. A few people can beat him in that position. 100%. He has wins over guys like Gianni Grippo, Paolo Miao, some of the best leg fighters in the world. Who was the guy that he beat uh, on Fight to Win uh, recently? Big dude. Who did he win? Ronaldo? Yes. Man. That's such a statement already, right? Yeah, you know, Ronaldo is a, a solid middleweight. And uh, Marcio was actually telling us uh, recently that he is done with the featherweight division. That oh, he is God. he is absolutely a lightweight and that he's never going to go back to featherweight because he said that he, he tried cutting the weight last year and, you know, he made it through into the finals of the World Championships, but it affected his performance it too did. much. It did, you could see. And he says that he feels so good at lightweight that that's it for him now. Yeah. But look at this. I love the guard work here from, from Johnny Tamer and getting yeah, in Johnny underneath Tama, these legs. Johnny Tamer has a crazy guard, guard retention. His guard retention is amazing. You know, Johnny has had a rough year if you look at his results. He will, he will be the first to tell you that he's extremely disappointed. He has never lost as much in his career as he has this year. And yet, some of those matches have been absolutely phenomenal performances. Like he had a great match with Osvaldo Caixinho at Third Coast Grappling in the right. Super Fight that was as close as you could imagine, you know? He had great matches uh, with all kinds of fighters, Gi and no Gi. But Marcio Andre... Well, he won, he won, uh, he won Words No Gi uh, last year, late last year. Really well in such a, a great fight. fashion. Yeah, yeah, such a great fashion. With all the drama that he likes, but uh, he, was, he put on a show. I like to see Tama fighting. Especially when he unleashes it as well. It's not playing guard retention, but um, yeah. I, yeah. I, I like to see what he does. When he goes on the attack, yeah. Johnny so is very dangerous. But look at this, Marcio Andre coming around up towards the upper body and maybe, oh, wow. sits through Straight onto the mount. the mount. What a beautiful transition yeah. there. Yeah, and you mounted, you mounted when you, oh. Johnny manages to recover, but that was a uh, beautiful should movement. Be two, should be two advantages, yeah. Two advantages, one for the pass, one for the mount. Man, and I gotta say, the way that Marcio, he just floated yeah, he into that position. He fights like a, an experienced black belt, which he is, actually. Oh, look at this smash pass position. Go. Cyborg style. <laughs> Both the knees together. Oh, but long pass, long step. He went for the long step, which I think is not the best, the best choice, but what do I know? He it got worked. The three points. There you go. <laughs> there it is. Because that's the great thing, though. You have the choice. I'm you can go man. either direction, right? I, I, I love the learning experience from these kids. You can learn a lot by watching somebody like Marcio Andre 100%. and Johnny Tammer. They really can. 100%. These guys, their movements, they do things in the matches. You think, how, how did he do that? <laughs> Another two for the knee ride. That's 5 0 now for Marcio Andre. Yeah, Marcio is having a is having a a good time there on the, on side control, and uh, Johnny Thomas trying to get out of take take Marcio take Marcio's pressure out by putting his foot on the lapel, which doesn't mean he's playing guard again, but um, he's trying to just re to release that pressure because Marcio is bringing heat. Yeah, that it's a very frustrating position when you get caught in it from top, but. It's rare that you see people do anything effective from that kind of bottom side control with the with the, the gi, right? Because you can see the way that Marcio Andre, there's so much room in the gi that he can kind of run around. And look at that, on wow. the back. On the back and with on the choke. With hand locked already. Those hands He's gonna get that. He's gonna get it. It's too locked in. It's too locked in. Don't stop. Oh, he oh, gives he, up the choke. Yeah, he gave up the choke, yeah. But he was, did you see what he did? Did you understand what he did right now? Go on. Marcio had the, the, the choke on lock, as you just mentioned, 
But when he saw that he was past the yellow, the, 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 he let it go. He let go and did the the, the seat belt so they can go back in the, same, the same position, position rather Instead, than a neutral restart. Rather than going yeah. back from two points yeah. and going back. So that's experience. That's that was saying, really clever. He plays, he plays like an experienced black belt, which he is, even though he's so young. But he's very mature. He's so smart. Man, Master Andrea is, is amazing. His Jiu Jitsu is amazing. And now he's back. Back the, on the choke. There you go. Working that collar. Right over on the edge of bounds. They could go out of bounds again here. And if I was Tamar, I'd be rolling out. Trying to get that neutral restart. Mars is too smart for that. Yeah. You won't allow that to happen. No, he's going to keep you in the position that he wants. Wow. Phenomenal sequence there from Masu Andre. The way that he was able to get past and then get onto the back and get the choke working so quickly. A little reminder for you guys, so much more action to come here. But this Marcio Andre here now. This, of course, is Marcio Andre. I believe this is his first match in, uh, in the division. This is Johnny Tama's second. Yeah, to be honest, you know, Victor, I would never want to face Johnny Tamara as my warm-up match. <laughs> yeah, that's a tough one, right? But Marcio Andre looks so cool out there. He looks so calm. I think that's the best way to go against somebody like Johnny because Johnny, like you say, is so passionate and comes out with such energy. You can't match that. And, and not only that, like, I, think, I think that the earlier in the bracket you get to face Tama, the better for you because I think that Tama grows as he moves on on the bracket, you know? He, if, you, if you get Tama in a final match, that's a problem. You remember when, uh, when Tama had to uh, open for Lucas Lepri? Oh, yeah. And he was crying? Yeah. Because he knew that at that he stage in the bracket, and stronger, he, exactly, yeah. he was building yeah. it up. Yeah. He's the type of guy that builds it up. Some of the guys, they fade, and their, their, their final match is the worst. Right. Even though they sometimes win, but their final match is the worst. I think, I think that Tama is exactly the opposite. His final at No Gi Worlds was amazing. Yeah, was because a great match. he had reached he that point up, in yeah. the day. Yeah. He gains more confidence as, 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 as the fights go. You know, it's, uh, it's the heart. He has a lot of heart, which is great. Yeah, those kids from Ecuador, man, they all have... Oh, coming from uh, Raul Jimenez himself. Exactly. Roberto's dad. Exactly. has such a big heart. Marcio doesn't quite have the full back control here. He's got one hook, but he is trying to sneak that second hook in. But you can see Marcio doing a good job. Uh, sorry, Johnny doing a good job of denying it. Yeah, but Marcio's going to go for the choke. Um, he, has the, uh, he has the other leg coming up. Yeah, Tama did a good job by avoiding that leg to come up. Strong work here, I got to say. Watching Marcio Andre compete in this tournament. He is a pan champion, and I'm sure that he would like to get another gold here. He's actually the number three seed in this bracket. If he wins this match, then he'll likely go on to face, probably, well, we'll see that side of the bracket unfold, but probably Michael Vieira Jr. And then it would be yeah. uh, most likely Hinato Kanuto in the semifinal. That's a hell of a bracket. Yeah, then you've probably got probably got Jonathan Gracie in the other in the final <laughs> that's, wow. that's a well-earned gold medal this lightweight division is where it's at the, the 2020 pans I gotta say it's one of the the most loaded divisions you know there were some criticisms that maybe some of the big names were missing this year not in the lightweight division lightweight division stacked amazing how tight Marcio Andre is keeping this position this knee cut position Johnny has got the butterfly hook in, but Masi has smashed it completely. And he was collapsing Johnny's legs, but Johnny has such a heart. He was right. able to open up. Still quite a lot of time to work in this match, you know. I mean, like, it is, even though it's 5-0 up, that Masi Andre, you know, he can't take his foot off the gas because, well, you allow Johnny Tama to get back in the game at your peril because he can make it a bad day for you. But right here we see... But right here we see Marcio Andre on top and very much in control, 5-0, with about a minute and a half remaining.
it's funny, uh, Renato Gnuto just passed by us and uh, he told me, I, I took the headphones off to, 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 to hear what he had to say. And he just told me, yeah, man, that first match thing. And I said, man, I just, I just made a comment on that. I would say, man, it's not Renato Canuto at its best because he probably fit in the first match. And he said he was uh, cutting weight, so it took him, it took a little off him. And uh, but now he said he's ready to to smoke them all. That's what he said. Oh, I love <laughs> it! I love it. That's the energy that we're looking for oh, yeah. here at the Pans. And now here's Tamer on the attack. Gets two points. Five two, but less than a minute left. Johnny Tamer. He's going to be busy, but it's going to be hard to score that back, especially with the advantages in Andre's favor. And not only that, like, Andre's guard is like a freaking maze. As you move, you get, you get more lost. Yeah, it is rare to see anybody pass Marcio Andre's guard. Yeah. His guard is phenomenal, it really is. One of the most flexible guards in the world, actually. Like, it's crazy to Ooh. see some of the positions he gets Ooh, to. Oh, what a Beautiful sweep. Beautiful sweep from Marcio Andre. Oh. See, now there is the passion that we're talking yeah, about. We love it. Johnny we love Tamer it. fired up it. right at the end of the contest. Oh man, letting his feelings be heard. That last second sweep scored. So Marcio Andre should be seven points up now to two. Marcio Andre is like on his toes, just jumping. He's ready to go. Yeah, he probably made a good camp for that. You know, Marcio Andre, him. it was a very composed performance. No, but he's but swinging. You want to you wanna try and go after him? He's like, yeah, bring it. Bring, bring it, it. Yep. You don't know the background that this kid oh, has come look, from. Look you at know? How, how ready he is. Yeah. Seconds left. It, 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 it kills your mind. Take down there from Tama, but not enough. Time oh, it is done. And there is a great display of sportsmanship man, right at the I end of the match right there. Man. Those I guys, you know, they leave it all on the mat. I love that. You won't see that in any other sport. Mark my words. Any martial art, uh, for more uh, composed that they are, and I'm not talking bad things about the other martial arts, but this kind of, of uh, uh, respect and honor you only see in the jiu-jitsu matches. And sometimes you see some some bad attitude as well. You don't see right. no bad attitude in judo. It's uh, it's tougher, but here you see some of the best uh, 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 attitudes, and uh, it's just like it fills it fills my heart with joy when I see these guys.